Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this sweet looking thing. I uh, made a vertebrate, essentially. It's uh, it's very similar, but it's got its differences, but it, uh, it works just the same. Here we go. <laughs> and here's another little added bonus to it. You can actually control the direction of this thing somewhat, and uh, that just makes it even even more cool. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So today I'm going to be checking out this Vertibird and it's really, it, it doesn't look how I intended it to look. I wanted the arms to come up and out and uh, have kind of a Fallout 4 type of feel, but you know, this works just as well and I did have to add a couple thrusters on the side here to get it to propel forward. And what I wanted to do was kind of do a little bit of experimentation and see if I could get this part right here to turn so that this whole thing will turn but I I kind of on accident and this is pretty interesting uh, I on accident made it uh, with the wheels in the front and in the back and when you actually turn side to side or up and down back and forth it will actually rotate very very well and so there's no need for a thruster in the back for directional control I don't even think I need to change the uh, the direction of the side arms or anything but we're gonna try it and I'm gonna also show you how to make this it's a very very simple design and uh, really cool at that and if you need to reposition yourself you can you can just drive it around and so it's kind of a two-fold purpose uh, to this thing and you have some really cool abilities with uh, just a couple uh, easily placed thrusters and the, about the only thing you need to make sure is that everything's symmetrical and balanced and even and I hope I can recreate the thing and get it to get it to fly just like this one does well I didn't have a thruster in the back I was testing that and I took it off so the button the second button really doesn't do anything it's not connected to anything it's just switch one that matters and switch one basically ignites all the boosters and everything's balanced and so you go straight up now if I hit S it'll actually propel me this way and W and then you can also even turn it and so it's it's crazy how I mean it's just like it was just all accidental with the turning and stuff and being able to control it that way but it actually works quite well and you can actually control it very easily and get it to do what you want it to do so if you want to balance it back out just give it a little bit of an input and we can go we can go in reverse it's just it's just insanely cool to make these come out and i, do, I i'm gonna I, I, I don't know we'll experiment and maybe try to get these to rotate even though I, it's not even necessary really i mean maybe if you wanted to have it so it had a vertical takeoff and there were no wheels involved at all uh, because this little bit of uh, spinning actually controls it quite well and then having it turn in the front uh, it's just it's just really it's really interesting and then this is at okay so eight uh, six by 16 and then these are one two three four five down all right so it's it, I mean it's ex it's an extremely simple design and, and I I was kind of shocked that it actually worked when I when I built it two three four five five six and then I just want to make sure everything is completely perfect I don't want to have any issues one two three four five six seven all right we're good I don't I don't even need to be counting but I'm just just for my sanity and to make sure everything comes out how it should be I'm gonna do this I don't need you guys saying in tech you built this wrong you noob it's not symmetrical all right, and then five down from the from the front. Okay, so I, I don't know. I, let's just try it and make the arm spin. Well, you know, it's worth just doing. Two, three. Come on, man. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Two, three, four, five. And then I just did five in the back here. Okay, we got one side done. So one, two, three. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then what I did was I think I came out one time like that and made that look like that. Just double check. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got this arm done, and so now we just need to go and do it to the other side, and that will then we can start up building and building the middle of it. So we just need to make sure that we have this um, set up correctly to start with, and then uh, we've got our four coming out, and then now we can start going out. All right, so we have both of the arms done. And so now what we need to do is we need to build the middle of this thing. And what I did was essentially just made, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine things out from the second block, which is gonna be a part of the uh, ability to turn, so that's good. Because we wanna make sure we can still turn. At first it doesn't look like it's actually even, but then it is lined up with this and that's that's kind of what we want right there. So now, uh, now all we need to do is make this middle part uh, spin essentially. And the way that I did that was, oh, and this might be a little bit difficult from, from up here, but uh, I had it flipped over and it was a lot easier. And do I, I think I have this, offset actually let's see do i have it offset i do okay so these are offset and so we need to have one in the front and one in the back and then to make sure that you build this correctly uh the easiest way is to make like a cross essentially let me see i don't know how, i can't remember how far i went took this thing down one, two, three, I think it was, f I thought it was four blocks. Maybe it's only three. Yeah, it was just three, okay. Okay, so like that. And then our bearing is right there. So we need to come down like that, come down like that, and then like that. So that's what we wanna see right there. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And uh, like I said, it's very important to make sure that everything is perfectly lined up and symmetrical or you're going to have some issues. And you're going to be turning one way and have no idea why, what, what, what the heck is happening to you. Okay, so now it's as simple as, uh, let's see, how high do I have these? I do have, okay, so I have a space at the top because of the uh, rotation. And so we want to put these on the bottom because the other thing with putting them on the bottom is what's going to happen is, so make sure these are all alternating. What's going to happen is, is that you're going to be able to put down these thrusters underneath, but you want to make sure that you have the very outside corner selected so that when you make your way around it, you actually have room to, uh, to build in all four places. You're going to have a center opening right there in the middle. And so just keep that in mind. It's very important to uh, make sure you have that set up correctly. Or, or, and, you, and nothing is off balance because if it is, it's going to cause you an issue. And you want to make sure you can build in all the spots around the outside of the edge. Okay. There we go. So now uh, I did put thrusters here, here, here and here but since this now rotates we need to make sure it's right there instead of uh on all four of that so just make sure that you don't block yourself in right there and i i i'm not entirely sure we need to make sure that that's still going to spin actually because our uh like the arms are still going to rotate it i think i think it's important to have these because uh that that's going to let you it's going to allow you to um it's gonna allow you to actually get around the map if you fall. And so let's just make sure. Okay, so th these front ones are backwards. And okay, it looks pretty good. I think that's gonna work. All right, so now all that's left to do is we need to 
have our switch. Um, actually, let's go ahead and bring that block back out because we need to balance this out. I'm going to have our switch here. I'm going to put a switch here too just for so it doesn't go flying off in one direction for whatever reason. And then we just need to connect all the thrusters, and that's pretty much it. So let's just connect these up. We want to hook all of these to the same switch. Hook it all to the same switch. And then, you know, obviously make sure it's hooked up to your to your driver's seat. Four was a common number I found when doing this. Just make sure it's all even. So we don't go flying off. So, and then I just had some short pipes across here. It's pretty easy to correct your your issues. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we only need to uh, slightly compensate. Okay, so that's not really doing what we want. So we probably, do we need more of a direction? We, we might need more of a... Uh, Might ha we might need to turn those more. It's just a, it's just kind of turning us. It's like even a, even us back out. And so I guess you could still control with the wheels if you wanted to, and then use those to uh, kind of realign yourself. Maybe I, I'm not entirely sure. Holy crap! You can do some sweet stuff though with that hooked up. Oh baby! Oh, 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 I landed it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So that's an issue right there. So let, um, let's go ahead and disconnect these because I don't think that's working how we, how we really want it to. And in order to keep those from swaying, now we need to hook these up to a controller so they're locked. It's not going to really do much for us, I don't think. It's just going to allow us to spin in place like this. <laughs> it is pretty cool though what you can find find you can do with uh, just a couple simple little changes like that. Well guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Just a quick look at how to make a vertebrate type of thing. And uh, with just a simple rotation from the wheels and controls and input, you can actually control this thing quite well. Just just make sure you don't don't go overboard with your compensation. Something's a little bit different here. I think I think it must have to do with the... Uh, you know what? I think it has to do with the placement of the thrusters that are closest to me. Because I think... Were they placed? I think they were placed closer to the middle. Man, you get up really high quickly with this thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And I go